The third round of the U.S. Open continues on Friday as we move towards crowning the 2023 Open champions. And there are some more intriguing matchups coming our way on Friday night, so let's talk about it. We're going to do that with NBC local sports journalist and former pro tennis player Julia Albaba, who joins me now. Julia, how have you been enjoying this tournament so far? I know it's been keeping you busy. How have you been enjoying it? I've been enjoying it, you know, besides reporting so much, been watching a little tennis and actually able to see just the greatness unfold in New York. So it's always a great vibe, especially as a former player. I love to see the goods come out. Love seeing the goods come out. Look, the goods have been on display. It's the open good time for everybody getting out there in Queens to see some great tennis. And Julia, you know what fans want to see? They badly want to see an American male end a 20-year major drought. Taylor Fritz is one of the men with a chance to do that here. He plays again on Friday night, and you spoke to Fritz before his upcoming match. So how is he feeling about his third-round matchup and the state of American men's tennis right now? The state of American men's tennis is as good as it could get. I mean, Fritz feels really confident. He's the number one ranked men's tennis player in the world. So pressure is on him. But he says, quote, he's handling the pressure and expectations well. So we love to hear that. We have five Americans that are seated. We got himself, Francis Tiafo, Tommy Paul, Christopher Eubanks, Sebastian Corda. He thinks, and I think, that one of those five are going to break that 20-year drought. It's about time. But what's really causing the drought? That's the question. So I asked him, and he says it's the big three, Novak Djokovic, and then Nadal, of course, Rafael Nadal, and Roger Federer, who those two, those last two, haven't been on the court lately. Unfortunately, Federer retired. Uh, the sadness of the sport, but those three have been dominating the sport for 20 years. They have 65 Grand Slam titles combined. So now we'll see what happens. Times are changing. Times are changing, and the American men are hopefully hoping that they can get back on top. We'll see. You're right. That is a very dominant stretch for those three tennis players that we saw over the last two decades. And we want to talk about the women's side. We're going to go there now. Coco Goff also back in action on Friday night. The six-seeded Goff said she played much cleaner in her second-round victory. So what are you looking to see from her against Elise Mertens, who could be a tough opponent right here? Yeah, I just wanted to touch on that first round. Um, I did like the way she played overall, meaning like she came through in the tough times. She didn't play her cleanest match, but she battled through. I did feel like she showed a little bit of immaturity though with the whole her opponent being a little bit slow so I wasn't thrilled about that she is 19 years old so she is young I think she will learn so you have to just block that out second round she plays played much more efficient and that's what she's going to need um, in order to make it very deep in the tournament win the tournament potentially she doesn't want to spend a lot of time on court early on so we hope to see now in the third round that she's efficient against Mertens, who is a grinder. She gets every ball back. Take it from me. I played her in one of my last professional matches. I lost in a close two-set battle. The girl doesn't miss. Hits with a heavy top spin. And so it, it'll, it'll be interesting to see if she can close her out quickly. All right, we'll see if she can be efficient. Efficiency can be the key is what you want early on in these tournaments, and we'll see what happens here. Now, we got to talk about Novak Djokovic has the late match on Ash on Friday night against Lazo Jere, the Joker. He's on the prowl for his 24th major. What have you made of his performances in his first two matches? Djokovic is in cruise control. He's barely missing. He's looking calm. He's looking confident. And he'll likely get through tonight, I'd say, in straight sets. And he will go on to face Taylor Fritz, not in the fourth round, but in the quarterfinal. So that's that American clash against you know one of our big three so i think new york will be so ready to tune into that greatness yeah absolutely that's a matchup they will definitely want to see and as you said djokovic he has been dominant thus far and how he looks as he tries to get major title number 24. julia albaba she's been doing a fantastic job covering the tournament thus far you'll see her on more with us julia keep enjoying the tournament we'll talk soon as we move on to round four and beyond Thank you so much, Dex. Let's catch up soon. Yes, we will. Thank you.